Okay, we're going to do a little uh, walk around and test drive of this 1986 Honda CRX SI, which, as you can read in the description, is pretty amazingly original and uh, in quite good shape. The paint's all original, um, all the body panels are original, all the glass. Uh, as far as I know, the motor is, so we're going to get in. Uh, it's pretty cold right now. I pulled it out of the garage a couple of hours ago and gave it a quick wash. But uh, the motor should be nice and cool. Okay. As you can see, 97,833 miles. Buckle up. Hear the fuel pump come on. Starts right up. So you see the temperature is cold. It uh, idles at about 2,000 until she warms up a little bit. It's a hot day today. You can hear the aftermarket exhaust that was on there when I bought it. We'll open up the sunroof. It uh, goes up one notch for vent and then fully opens. And uh, just see the window winders. I'm going to take them down. It's a beautiful day. Wiper front, wiper rear, all the turn signals work. Uh, you can't see it, but uh, yeah, you can see that the lights are coming on. Headlights are fine. Radio. Original 1986 radio. Oh, the antenna's down. Let me put that up. Gotta get. I don't know any good stations, but uh, radio works. Dashboard's in great shape. All the door locks and door handles work. Let's go out. under rush hour now it may hit a little traffic but get up to highway speeds when the temperature comes up I'll uh, rev her up a little more Brakes are all new, relatively new, uh, work well. Of course, with only 2,000 pounds to stop, doesn't take much, but they're quiet and smooth. A little windy we'll roll the windows up uh, you can hear it get 
indicated 70 miles an hour, no shakes, nice and straight. Uh, I, I keep reaching for a sixth gear in this car because I normally drive a six speed, but uh, fifth is top gear. Yeah, nice torque, that's full throttle going through 75 up to 80. And a uh, nice compliant ride, really, for such a tiny car. Close the sunroof. We'll get off on College Ave here. Don't hear the horn. <laughs> This is just such a fun car to drive after driving a modern car with power everything and 3,500 pounds if it's a lightweight modern car. This is a whole different experience. And the rear sway bar, you can probably hear it knocking a little bit back there. It's probably I'm due to, to lubricate it. Um, you know, that uh, really helps handling, almost erases understeer completely, but um, you do have to lubricate the bushings, they're polyurethane bushings. You know, the uh, Takiko shocks are virtually new, new front uh, control arm bushings and new rear wheel bearings, new tires, all the brakes are new, so it... Uh, it rides and handles uh, like a CRX should. We'll go to third here and just, well, maybe not here, but coming out of this light up here, maybe. Yeah, yeah I mean, this car driving it uh, at 40 miles an hour is more fun than I think a Corvette at 80. sensation and the sound of speed if not the uh, <laughs> the actual speed it's better for your driver's license and the heater will turn or the air conditioner fan controls all work high medium low all the different vent high low heat feet the frost recirculate they all work and a click on the AC button you can hear the the engine revs drop the AC compressor engages but uh, it needs a charge let's see how cool it gets give it a few minutes here but that saps valuable horsepower this doesn't have too many to spare Yeah, it's not really that cold, so we'll uh, we'll just open up the sunroof. We'll take it back, man. I'm gonna miss this car. It's fun, classic.